Hello friends, welcome to MS Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show how to do Zango setup. If you want to install Zango in your system, first we should have Python also in our system. Zango framework is developed in a Python programming language. Zango framework is a Python based web framework. So compulsory, we should have Python also in our system. Then only we can able to develop web applications by using Zango framework. Let me check if Python is available in my system or not. Python iPhone iPhone version. Yes, here I have a Python 3.8.1. Now I will create a one virtual environment also. Why we need to create virtual environment? What is the use of creating virtual environment? See, suppose uh, today I want to create a uh, one project by using Django 1.11 and Python 2.2 versions. For that, uh, I installed required packages and libraries, everything in my system. By using all these packages and libraries, I developed one project also. Now it is running fine. Tomorrow, I want to create a new project by using the Django 3.0 and Python 3.8. Now what I have to do? In my system, already I have Django 1.11 version and Python 2.2 version. And the related packages and libraries, everything is there in my system. Now, if I install again Django 3.0 and Python 3.8, so there may be a chance to get a disturbance in an existing old project. Compulsory, there may be a chance to get conflicts. To avoid these kind of problems, to avoid these kind of conflicts, we are creating a separate environment for each project. Right, old project I will create, for old project I will create one environment. For the new project, uh, I will create a separate new environment. Now, we won't get any problems. We won't get any conflicts. For this reason, I'm going to create a, one virtual environment for my project. How to create virtual environment? py iPhone M pip install virtual env wrapper iPhone win. So now what I'm going to do, now I'm going to create a virtual environment. Now I installed a virtual environment wrapper. Now I want to create a virtual environment also. MK MK virtual env virtual env here we have to give the virtual environment name here i'm giving virtual environment is a zango projects zango projects is my virtual environment so now what it will happen now virtual environment is providing a dedicated environment for your project it is providing one dedicated environment for your project like this. See here, what we see here, we can see Zango underscore projects. Now onwards, uh, whatever you want to do, everything uh, right, we can do inside this location. You can install the softwares, you can install the packages, you can install libraries, we can create project. Everything we can do inside this location. Now, I will install uh, Zango first. Here, I will install Zango first. How to install Zango? If you want to install Django, what command we have to use? For that, uh, we have to use a pip install command. By using pip install command, uh, we can able to install Django. See, py iPhone m pip install Django. Where I am installing Django? Not into the system only. I am not installing Django in my system. I am installing Django in my virtual environment only. I created one uh, dedicated environment inside that location. I'm creating this project, not inside system. See here, Zango underscore projects is the my virtual environment. Inside that environment, I'm installing Zango software. See.
if you want to check Django is installed successfully or not, how we can able to check? For that, uh, we have to use one command, Django iPhone admin, iPhone iPhone version, Django iPhone admin space iPhone iPhone version. Here, what is Django iPhone admin? Django iPhone admin is a command line tool. Whenever we installed Django software in the system, automatically you will get that command line tool. Before installing Django in your system, if you try to check the version by using that command line tool, Django iPhone admin, it simply it will return error like uh, this Django iPhone admin command line tool is not available in your system. Like that it will return the error. When we will get that command line tool in our system, it, whenever we installed uh, Django software in our system, then only you will get the uh, Django iPhone admin command line tool in our systems. Now here, I'm installing Django in my system. Right, after completion of this installation, definitely I will get a Django iPhone admin command line tool. By using that, uh, we can be able to check uh, Django is installed properly or not. If you want to create project also, even if you want to create project compulsory that the Django iPhone admin command tool, command line tool is required. By using that command line tool only, we can able to create the project. Not yet completed, still it is going. Meanwhile, I will open other command prompt. I will open new command prompt and I will check and I will check that the Zango iPhone admin command line tool is available or not. Zango iPhone admin admin iPhone iPhone version. See here what I'm doing. Zango iPhone admin is not recognized as an internal or external command. Here in my system, Zango is not installed. In my system, Zango is not installed. So that's why here we are getting this problem. So that's why here we are getting the problem. Zango iPhone admin is not recognized as an internal or external command. If you install Zango in your system, automatically you will get this command line tool. Here is Zango iPhone admin, it is a command line tool. By using this, uh, we can create a Zango project and okay, we can check Zango is installed successfully or not. Now, right, now let me go to that uh, virtual environment. See, here, uh, here my virtual environment is got created. My virtual environment. See, the virtual environment created and Zango also successfully installed. See, and successfully installed uh, Zango 3.0.5. Now let me check uh, it successfully installed Zango or not. Zango is installed successfully or not, we'll check. How to check? By using command line tool. Zango iPhone admin space uh, iPhone iPhone version. See, 3.0.5 3.0.5. It where I installed this Zango software inside the virtual environment. Here, uh, Zango underscore projects is uh, my virtual environment. Inside that, I installed Zango version and Zango 3.0.5 installed inside the virtual environment. Just now, we have seen outside of the virtual environment. Outside of the virtual environment means uh, inside system. Inside system. See, here uh, again, I will try. See, and Zango iPhone admin, iPhone, iPhone version. And same error we are getting. Same error we are getting. And, but if you go to virtual environment, if you go to virtual environment here, we can able to see 3.05 only. What is the meaning of this? Zango installed inside virtual environment, not in system, not in system. So like this, uh, we can able to do the setup for this. So now by using this command line tool, we can able to create the project also. In the next video, I will show how to create the Zango project and how to create the different applications inside the project. Okay, till then, bye bye.